Welcome to day 5 of 31 Days of Halloween, My Cookie Journey, featuring another 70s classic movie, Halloween. I originally made the house and Michael's outline, but I was unsure it portrayed the movie well, so I did another one that I felt had all the elements of the movie, such as his knife, his mask, and of course, the Halloween icon, the pumpkin. The first cookie I will be making is Michael Myers' outline and the house. I started off by painting the bottom black, thinking that it would be easier to paint everything black first, but then I realized it would probably be easier if I iced first and then paint everything black, so I just decided to paint the windows in and the door first. I then proceeded to outline and flood uh, Michael Myers' outline, then later on I realized I should not have even done that, I should just have outlined and flooded the house and left Michael Myers' outline. Uh, flat so that the house would stand up more but it was already too late. To create a smoother seam between the outline and the background I just brushed where the outline ended and it actually it came out pretty good. I am proud how the window panes came out. Um, I first did the muntins or muntins however you pronounce it um, the lines that crisscross and um, then I just flitted around it which is I'm proud of because I never again this is my first time doing any of this and it, it came out all right I'm, I'm pretty proud of it of course I could not do that on camera so I had to do that off camera so sorry if, if you don't you don't see the process To give the house a more eerie look or worn down look, I went over it with, um, I think it's a cappuccino color, uh, edible dust. And I just did that all over the house and of course I did it a little bit darker around the edges and the window panes. And then with a dry clean brush, I just brushed off all the excess. And that was it. I was done with this cookie. Moving on to cookie number two. As usual, I start flooding, but then I quickly realized that I should have painted everything red first before I did this step. And of course, I didn't realize that until I started painting and then trying to get into all those little crevices, all those little areas, that's when I realized I should have painted first. <laughs> And then you see me here painting his face and the pumpkin, which is also his eye black. For the knife, I used white food coloring with just a tiny little bit of gold edible dust to give it kind of that yellowish tinge to, to it. And that's it. My second Michael Myers cookie is done. Thank you so much for watching day 5 of 31 Days of Halloween, My Cookie Journey, featuring another 70s classic movie, Halloween. And please don't forget to subscribe and follow me also on Instagram and Facebook. Thank you.